I have a reputation for being one of the dirtiest online betting operators out there. From VIP managers grooming problem cases to refusing to pay out winners, they've done it all. Which is why this week's video is focusing on the truth about Betway, including all of those pieces that they don't want you to see. So in no particular order, seven appalling truths about Betway. Starting off with number one, which is of course Trustpilot, because their online reviews might not be what they seem. There was an article in the Times back in 2019 where Betway emailed customers offering them a free bet if they were to leave a review on Trustpilot. This is clearly incentivizing positive reviews which allowed them to gather thousands of five-star reviews. A quick look at their Trustpilot page shows a very different story though, and we'll come on to many of these issues that are raised on Trustpilot in just a second. But this is not the first time they've been so disingenuous, because the second point where Betway have slipped up on multiple occasions now is through doing their regulatory checks, or not doing them when they're supposed to, and then doing them when they aren't supposed to. So for example, we've got Doug Shelley here in the Guardian newspaper, article by Greg Wood, where he was allowed to deposit 43,000 pounds into a Betway account with no affordability checks, no money laundering checks, bet to his heart's content, and then only once he'd won 108,000 pounds and decided he wanted to withdraw, did Betway then want to do their regulatory checks, thus holding on to his money in the process. Fortunately, after a year's worth of back and forth, some forensic accounting on his own bank balance, which cost him 10,000 pounds out of his own money, did he manage to get paid out from Betway. This is a case that happens all too often, and in most cases, Betway know the person on the other end cannot afford that 10 grand in legal fees or forensic accounting and manage to win their case. Which leads me on to the third point, which is of course the abuse of affordability checks. Systematically, this is happening across multiple operators, Betway included, where they use regulations such as affordability or anti-money laundering checks in order to delay, postpone, or even avoid paying out winnings altogether. The match betting community in particular will know all about this. If you don't know what match betting is, take two minutes out to check the link in the description down below to a site called ProfitRush.com, free match betting service which will show you how to extract some cash from bookmakers offers risk free. It's a great way to top up that side income. Unfortunately, the Gambling Commission is as much use as a chocolate teapot and the likes of Andrew Rhodes, the CEO that's currently in place, is now creating a single customer view system whereby this is just going to make things worse and allow more betting operators to behave like this and share information between them about who the winning customers are. It really shouldn't be allowed to go ahead. The fourth point that I want to share here is the fact that Betway have historically accepted stolen money without those checks once more. There's a case online here shared where they accepted 5.8 million that they eventually had to pay back as part of a record breaking fine for 11 Point six million pounds, where they allowed one customer deposit up to eight million pounds and lose four million over the space of four years. The whole time they didn't do the required checks and they didn't notice that this possibly could be stolen money or problem money, whereas they managed to shut down anybody who's winning in a matter of days. Something that Andrew Rhodes, the CEO of the Gambling Commission, said that the Gambling Commission would actually step in on if they saw that happening. We're all still waiting, Andrew. The fifth point that I want to draw your attention to is the wagering requirements that Betway impose on customers. Now, lots of different companies do this, but Betway are particularly bad in this instance. Taken from the homepage of their website here, you can see the casino bonus sign up has a 50 times wagering requirement. For anyone that doesn't quite understand, that means you have to bet and turn over your stake 50 times before they will give you the free bonus. Although it gets even more sinister when you look at the terms and conditions for some of these bonuses because as you can see with online forums here people have been refused the bonus after they deposited spent money turned it over because they didn't bet the amounts that Betway wanted them to which is of course all engineered so that you cannot win over the longer term. Now this is directly relative to the sixth point which gripes me more than anything because it's very personal and I've had an account with Betway in the past where they restricted my betting activity really quite quickly. Earlier in the week, I contacted them to ask them what was my lifetime PL on my balance. I couldn't see it via logging in because it would only show you 30 days of history, and it was some time ago that I used it. 
I'm still waiting on the response for that, so I have no idea I've given up before this video. However, they very quickly identify winners and restrict winning accounts, the complete opposite to the people that they allow to deposit millions, whilst advertising the fact that you can win thousands of pounds using their product. This is a complete contradiction. It's not fair and open, as the Gambling Commission are mandated to ensure, and it's just not right. Taking me on to the last, and possibly the worst, of the seven points, the fact that VIP managers give free bets to problem gamblers and have done in the past, as you can see with this article in the Daily Mail here, where somebody who clearly has an addiction problem is deciding that they no longer want to bet with better aid, they've lost too much money, they've possibly even been stealing money looking at the same article there, and the VIP managers respond by seeing what they'll do, taking a look to give them more free bets in order to continue this activity. It's just absolutely disgusting, totally wrong, and it's not gonna be resolved by the single customer view that Andrew Rhodes and the Gambling Commission are so hell-bent and focused on right now. In fact, it's gonna make it worse. This is not an identification issue, this is an integrity issue where the companies clearly don't want to play fair, they have no intention of playing fair, so giving them more data and more tools to do so is just the worst thing that possibly could happen at this point in time. Now, they're not the only company behaving in this way, as you may have seen with previous videos on this channel. We've got a playlist developing, so if you haven't seen it already, check out this video here at the top about Skybet, the one below about Labbrokes. It's time that the general public knew that these things were going on, knew that winners were restricted, and knew that problem cases were being targeted. All fully regulated by the Gambling Commission, who, in my opinion, are not behaving in the way that they should be. Please check them out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.